There's Rocky laying there looking all innocent. He knocked down my tray that I keep up there. There's all the stuff out of the tray. Um, I pulled it out from down in that little cubby hole there. It all fell down into there. If it hadn't, I don't think anything fell down beyond that. If it did, then it's pretty much lost because that's no man's land under there. It's an awful job to get at anything if it falls in under there. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. Anyway, I guess I'll have to just learn to uh, cope when things don't go according to plan and to learn that life happens, as that girl that I had all the trouble with last year told me when I was um, confronting her about not keeping her word and, and so on, you know. That's what she told me when I said, well, you, you don't keep your word. And she says, you need to learn not to be so judgmental. You need to learn to cope when things don't go according to plan. You need to learn that life happens. Anyway, um, uh, it does give me an opportunity to clean this out at least. So there is that. Um, that's what I'll do. I'll clean that out, I guess. <laughs> oh, what a mess. A few other items that I put up there. Um, <coughs> there's my whistle. That is, that's my whistle. It was in the tray. And actually, the reason I had this whistle... I'll, I'll blow it here. <whistles> there it is. It's pretty loud. I hope it didn't startle anybody or hurt anybody's ears. But the reason that I have this whistle, uh, well, what I originally used it for is back when I used to be going into racking yards a lot when I had old cars, and I'd be going in taking parts off cars. Sometimes I had to go underneath a car, and I figured if I ever had a mishap or a car fell down on top of me, and it didn't kill me, but I was pinned under there or whatever, then I could blow the whistle to get attention to get help because I figured the whistle carries better than my voice would plus if I'm pinned under a car and injured I may not have the ability to may not have the lung capacity really to yell and at, for very long but I could blow the whistle it'd be easier to blow the whistle than to yell basically so that's the reason that I used to carry this with me and then when I was in the tent behind Walmart when I was first homeless I had a bear trying to get into the tent at night. It must have been a very young bear and inexperienced because it didn't actually manage to get into the tent, which it could have tore the tent apart. But what it would do is it would swat at the tent. And there were even claw marks from the bear on the tent. So that's what I say. I had a guy I know who um, lives in nature quite a bit out in British Columbia and has experience with bears. Uh, he had, I took pictures of the claw marks on the tent and he told me that he confirmed for me that it was a bear and when I described the swatting at the tent he said that is what they do anyway I blow on the whistle and that seemed to scare the wildlife off including the bear so that that's what that's why I have this anyway I made my oatmeal there I'm having some oatmeal I'm in some tang of course it's good enough for Neil Armstrong. It's good enough for me. <laughs> Rocky there. He's having a rest. After he after doing a tough job there, knocking all my stuff down, he's having a rest. Anyway, um, yeah. I took kind of a bad turn out there when I was boiling the water for the oatmeal. Sometimes I get bad pains in my chest. I get, well, it's like a heart pain or something. And I got that out there anyway, and I, it takes my breath away and whatnot. Rocky was out there because he loves the sun. So I managed to get him to come in because I was afraid I might keel over out there and, you know, who knows, I might die. And he's out there then, and he'd be locked out of the camper, you know. And the thing is, even if even once this goes out, it'd be warmer in here than it would be outside. And also his food's in here and stuff, so I wanted him in here anyway. Because if I, something happened to me, it'd be a long time before anybody found me back here, you know. So I was concerned about him, so I got him to come in. I lured him in with some treats, is what I did. 
I still got a little bit of pain, but it subsided quite a bit. It's not anywhere near to what it was. And I'm kind of used to this. This has been happening for years. And I, I can't, um, like I say, the medical profession won't help me. I've, I've, I've talked to them and they just won't help me. They, uh, they just say I'm a malingerer, basically, and that there's, I'm not, that I don't need to be tested or I don't need to be looked at or whatever for it. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Plus, now the hospital won't let, won't allow me in anyway. Because I went in there and refused to wear a mask one time. And, and they had masks with the mask mandates. And they said that I had attempted to murder everybody in the building by not wearing a mask. And so I'm not allowed to go back there. So, anyway, I'm not a guy who runs to the hospital anyway. I, I don't really like or trust medical people very much. So... I have kind of a bad history with medical people, so. My main concern when that happened really was Rocky, because if I did keel over or whatever out there, he'd have been stuck out there too. And, um, you know, he might have froze to death or whatever, so that's the reason that I was wanting him in here. But, ah, oh well, what can you do with all part of life, you know. Anyway, like I say, it's pretty much subsided now. I'm feeling a lot better. And uh, I got a little bit of something going on there, but it's not what it was. It was really bad for a few minutes, though. And this is how it goes. It, it, it subsides, and then it's like the way it is now, and then it just goes away. So, you know, I don't know exactly what it is. I kind of suspect it's a heart thing just because of the way it happens and where it happens, but I don't know that, really. That could be anything, really. I just know that it, 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 it does frighten me a little bit when it happens. But anyway, that's it for now. Um, that's enough of me whining. I got to eat my oatmeal. And um, Rocky's having a good sleep there, as you can see. Let's get a close-up of that innocent-looking face there. Quite a character. All right, there's there's my stuff. I'm gonna wash my tray over there before I put everything back. Plus, it looks like there's a lot of dust in there and whatnot. Anyway, I'll clean everything up and I'll put it back. He did me a favor, really, because it did need to be cleaned up, and he's forced me to do it. So, it's a good thing. All righty. We were talk I was thinking of going into town today, but with the strong winds and the cold and me taking that bad turn I took out there, I think it's best I don't. Um, it'll keep for another day anything I need to do in town. We'll talk to you later.